How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing, and we are back with another banger. So please smash the hell out of that like button and subscribe. And yeah, man, just watch the awesome fight, man, versus Ido. Wow, man, versus Yoshani, Yoshani, Yoshuni, excuse me if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, Ido was 27 and 3, um, with 15 wins by way of knockout. And Yoshiano is 14 and 0 with 11 uh, big wins by knockout. I picked Yoshiano by seventh round knockout. The scorecard actually, um, it was a back and forth battle. Both guys were were definitely, um, you know, were were fighting pretty good. Um, I would say. Uh, you know, Yoshiano was definitely, you know, making his presence felt more. Um, he was putting his punches together a lot more, and it showed, you know, towards the end of the fight. Um, this, this, the, the fight did get stopped, you guys, on um, an accidental headbutt, you guys. So that's how it, that's how it, uh, the, the fight ended. As you guys can see right here in this picture, this was a very, very brutal fight. Both guys were throwing thudding punches. And um, you can just tell, man, both guys wanted it. These guys in this Japan car, man, from uh, overseas over there in Japan. on the This is on the Triple G versus um, Mur Murata uh, undercard. And um, a lot of people from Japan was watching this. And they put on a show, man. They really showed um, the fans there that they were, you know, ready to fight. And, um... You know, I would say that Ito, you know, he has some more things to work on. He already had three losses. Um, you know, he did lose again today. Um, but, you know, moving forward, you know, if he could just work on a couple things, I think he's a pretty good fighter, man. He's, he does have four losses now. Um, but this career is not over. And as far as, and as far as uh, Yoshino, um, he's moving forward. You know, um, he's moving forward. He's from Konama, Japan, and Ito's from Tokyo, Japan. Um, but, you know, I'm just telling you right now, Yoshino, he looked good. Um, you know, he had an 80% KO ratio. This fight got stopped on an accidental head clash. Um, but it was it was very entertaining while the fight lasted. Um, you know, I was watching it, and I really think it was very, you know... Um, it was it was just a good fight. I want to see who, you know, each fighter fights next. I'm definitely going to be paying attention to their careers moving forward. Um, like I said, Ito is not the end of the world. He did get outclassed tonight. He was losing on the scorecards at the time of the uh, uh the headbutt and um, you know, it was it was a, it was a very very brutal headbutt and you know, you guys you can see right here he's wincing, he's down. That was right after the headbutt. And um, this was actually right here, you guys. This was the initial headbutt right here. So this is how the fight got stopped right here, you guys. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this fight, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, man. Um, you know, both fighters gave it their all, man. But I think at the end of the day, um, Yosh Yoshino was a better fighter, you know, all around. And it showed, you know. I'm not going to say a lot better, but he was, you know, he put his punches together um better you know so let me know what you guys think in the comment section please smash the hell out of the like button you guys and subscribe and until next time you guys peace